Hi there viewers and welcome to this week's Guided Angel Weekly Reading using Doreen Virtue's Daily Guidance Cards. Today is March the 12th, Monday 2012. These cards that have come out, I see they've actually repeated themselves a little bit lately over the last um, few readings. They must still be wanting to get a particular message across to us all. So the first one in the card is Daydream. It really is a lovely card and I enjoy watching that angel lying there in that beautiful, serene, gentle state. You can see that she's in a very happy, peaceful place of contemplative meditation. Something that I think a lot of us um, fail to do in today's busy lives and that's not so much because we may not um, follow the practice, it's because oftentimes we run out of the opportunity. We, we dedicate our time to often serving others, in fact, family members or our um, bosses at work, our employers, or even other people, even in, in the creative field, such as being involved in sports or other hobbies and activities, so that we seldom find ourselves seated quietly with nothing else going on other than our own personal thoughts and ideas. And these are truly the things that bring us back to our creativity. And without creativity in our own personal lives, forgetting about everyone else's creativity, but without our own personal connection to creativity, we start to slow down and stop functioning and stop being able to perform and give more again. So it's a little bit of a vicious cycle. If we don't set that time aside to sit down and relax and contemplate and um, connect to the higher realms, your higher self, the spirit guides, whatever you want to call it, but just that wonderful higher vibrational energy, we start to become sluggish and mundane, we, we lose energy, we don't have the same um, great you know, mind ideas that spring forth when we have those wonderful mental moments, you could call them. So that little card is just a message to say again, hey guys, slow down, take it easy, find some time in your day or during your evening for yourself, for your own contemplative meditation and the ideas that are meant to come to you about your life, your direction and how good you are at doing something that you are destined to do. Now the next card, the Joy card, I absolutely adore it. It's one of the most beautiful cards. It features the ocean, which to me I'm passionate about being by the sea anyhow. I'm also passionate about most of the sea animals, one of them in particular, the dolphin. And that angel there is riding beautifully on that dolphin. And the word joy, that the dolphin is actually smiling. And we think of that card when it comes out, oh great, you know, there's happiness in my life. But what it's actually saying is, that's exactly how it should be. There should be happiness in your life. But again, we often fail to see the happiness. We're too busy looking, sometimes, People are too busy looking for the negatives, and I'm not sure why, but they'll focus on, well, you know, that person over there, they're doing this to me, or they're treating me that way, or I haven't got this that I really wanted, or I needed to have one of those, or I, or I wanted to feel better, or yada yada. Because we, you see, when we focus on the negatives, how can we possibly be focusing on joy? So that card is actually saying, wake up everyone, flip the coin. Instead of looking at any negative perspectives of any situations, turn around and look at some joy in your life. And there is joy to be found in every moment. It just depends whether you're looking at things from the cup half empty or the cup half full. Joy is one of the highest vibrational energies that humans can experience. And the next one is love. And when the two connect, you get this magnificent euphoric energy that stems right in from your spiritual essence and can take you so far. So again, it's contemplating the positives, the love, the light, the happiness, the laughter, giving and tolerance and understanding. Those are all beautiful aspects and, and pertain to that wonderful vibration of joy. And the next card, she's a lovely looking angel again with her feet in the water. There's a bit of a message about water this week as well then. And she's sitting there and she is beautifully confident. Look, she's an absolutely lovely, vibrant, happy, again we come back to the joy, 
angel and she's sitting on the side of the banks and she does have a great deal of confidence about her and again this card is saying have confidence in yourself don't let others bring you down you alone are the person who can create your confidence other people can't actually take it away they can try to make you feel less confident but you are the one in the end who decides whether you are going to have the confidence or not and it's actually the same about every emotion in life other people don't make you angry you allow yourself to feel anger due to a situation and the same about happiness and joy you choose to allow those um, sentiments or emotions in your life and you have every reason to be confident you are a living light shining soul on this planet here to experience the positives in life and so these three, these three cards they are really happy positive cards and they are just messages to say to you all you're just not doing enough of those positive things so yeah flip the coin and get happy get happy and take some time out for yourself and don't feel threatened and interestingly enough for the very last card I chose one of Helen Barnes light coded cards and this card here actually says personal power and it says take back your personal power and be all that you are and if we flip it over it has quite a lot of writing on the back of it and it says all too often we give away our personal power to others by allowing them to dominate or bully us it's time for you to reclaim your personal power and stand up for what you believe no one can take away your power unless you give it away you have drawn this card to remind you to take back your power and be all that you are power itself is neutral however however how we use power is what is important when you use power as self-empowerment to stand in your truth you can manifest all you truly desire in your life it's time to take back your personal power and release any feelings of being a victim and those two cards that have confidence and the personal power were obviously drawn out this week I don't choose the cards they just keep selected out they came out together for a very strong message so if anyone is out there feeling a little bit bullied or harassed you stand up for yourself because you have every right to feel the emotions that you have and to feel exactly where you are standing in your belief systems everyone have a lovely week I hope you're all happy and joyous and experiencing something pleasant in your life take care all catch you another time